Today, we're going to demonstrate the proper way to assemble a thermoplastic hose assembly using a Parker Parflex mini crimp machine. Prior to assembling any hose and fitting, it is very important to ensure you have selected the proper hose for your application. We recommend reviewing your application and applying the stamp criteria, which is size, temperature, application, media, and pressure of your application. This information will ensure you selected the proper hose for your application. The next very important step is making sure you get the most updated crimp information. All this information is updated and kept online at www.parker.com backslash crimp source. As you begin to make assemblies on your Parker Parflex mini crimp machine, please ensure your crimper has the proper crimp die and die ring, both of which are found at www.parker.com backslash crimp source and also make sure your pusher cup is properly installed. You will notice all Parker Parflex crimp dies will come with Parkaline step on the inside. This is where your fitting will rest during crimping. We will first show you the Parker die and then how to properly install the die, the pusher cup, and die ring. For demonstration purposes today, we are choosing to use Parker Parflex's 53DM Duraflex hose with 56 series fittings. The first step in making a proper hose assembly is to identify the insertion depth mark of the fitting. This step ensures as we make the assembly, the fitting has not moved from its proper insertion depth. This step can be completed by either purchasing a set of depth insertion blocks, or in our demonstration, by placing the fitting next to the end of the hose and applying a mark where the hose would be bottomed out on the fitting. Once your fitting has properly been inserted onto the hose, you are now ready to crimp. Place the hose inside the properly selected die within the mini crimp machine and ensure you can feel the Parker line step on the die where the fitting will rest during crimping. Once the fitting is properly rested on the Parker line step, begin to crimp the fitting and continue to apply pressure to the crimp until the die ring bottoms out on the crimper. You'll want to do the same step on the other side of the hose. Once you have properly crimped your fitting, you need to now check the crimp diameter to ensure proper assembly. This is done by taking calipers and measuring the diameter of the crimp nine times. This would include three checks at the top, middle, and bottom of the fitting shell. The last step would be to clean and cap your assembly to ensure contaminants cannot get into your completed hose assembly. You have now completed the proper hose assembly technique. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please contact Parker Parflex Division for support.